<laughs> Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. And in today's video, I'm going to discuss the um, price hikes as well as the trams returning. Let's start with the trams returning, potentially. Rumor has it, um, according to the OC Register, that the trams, Disney's preparing trams for return in early 2022. Hopefully, um, January or February, hopefully January, because we need those trams, which uh, kind of sucks because the busiest time of the year during the Disneyland is the holiday season. Um, and especially, uh, you know, that's times when it's raining as well, potentially. And I will have to have to make that long walk to Mickey and Friends to the uh, theme parks. Some tips on where to park otherwise. Toy Story lot, garden walk, and take some shuttles over, or even the Anaheim Hotel, and that's a very quick walk over to the uh, theme park. It's much, much shorter than the Mickey and Friends walk. So I suggest going uh, there. But yeah, the trams are returning. At least we're giving a timetable. It's not confirmed by the Disney Parks blog, but again, Disney leaks stuff to the Orange County Register, uh, and that's like the Roger, Roger Rabbit information. And other information, and that is how uh, some stuff is uh, is linked there. But that came on the same day that Disneyland and the whole resort increased ticket prices. And we're going to go over these ticket prices uh, via this Mice Chat article, well, this Mice Chat chart. I was going to do it on the Disneyland website, but it's just much easier to see via this easy chart. So we're going to go share my screen and look at that right now. By the way, I'm wearing my awesome theme park wizard hoodie, which you can go ahead and buy on themestorewizard.com in the description below. And I'm also wearing because it's absolutely freezing in this house right now. Um, it was raining, a pretty good rainstorm today in Southern California, and it's just it's kind of like 52 degrees. And yes, it's cold for us here in California. 52 degrees is pretty cold, especially when it's dark outside um, as it is right now. So let's go check out these prices. So, as you have a whole big mumble jumbled mess, even though it's a pretty organized chart, you still have a mumble jumbled mess. So, there are five tiers before as part of this dynamic pricing structure they have. Now, there's a sixth tier, which is this new one here. And this sixth tier is like the most expensive tier. But oddly enough, actually, look at the holiday dates like um, New Year's, Christmas, they still have that Tier 5 pricing, which is pretty interesting. So I'm not sure if that's going to go up to Tier 6 or if Tier 6 is going to be used until next year or something. But let's start with one-day, one-park tickets. So here are the new prices. 104, that remains unchanged from the 2019 price. The one-day, one-park Tier 2, uh, kind of that moderate price is 119. That's a $5 increase. One day one part tier three is 134, which is a ten dollar increase, as well as tier four, uh, 149, which is a ten dollar increase. Tier five, one from one fifty four to one fifty nine. That's that peak one a one day peak ticket right there, and then then that new one day one part tier six is one sixty four. Now, if a lot of the one fifty four days become one sixty four days, like tier five comes tier six days. Then effectively, it's a $10 increase rather than a $5 increase. But again, nothing on the calendar for a tier six increase yet, at least when I saw it. But that obviously, that could change as you go into the holiday season. Moving on to multi day tickets two day, one park, one day is $255. It's a $20 increase. A three day, one park, one day. I should just bought a three day, one park, one day ticket for December 10th through 12th. And I bought that last week. Going with some friends, and we got we got in at this three ten price. And I texted them saying, "It's a like, good thing we bought our tickets last week, because now that same thing is three hundred thirty dollars, another twenty dollar increase, which is pretty decent, because that's the twenty dollars that we can go towards parking, uh, and it still won't cover it, <laughs> as you'll get to see when we get to those parking prices. Four day one well, one day one park or one park one day, three sixty up twenty dollars." Five day one uh, park one day, three eighty up twenty dollars. Then we're going to my favorite ticket, the park hopper ticket. One day uh, park hopper tier one one sixty four. It's up ten dollars from one fifty nine. 
it says it's up ten dollars, but here it shows it's this. I don't know. That's that that's not ten dollars. But anyway. One seven nine to one sixty nine. Uh for one day park harbor tier two, that's ten dollars. Uh one ninety four for one day park harbor tier three up from one seven nine. It's fifteen dollars. Same thing for tier four. Two oh nine to one ninety four. One day park harbor tier five is two nineteen. It's up ten dollars from two oh nine. One day park harbor tier six is two twenty four. Again, two oh nine was that previous price. Um well, it's more like a fifteen dollar increase of those that previous tier five comes to tier six day. Two day park hopper uh jumped twenty five dollars. Two through five day park hoppers jumped twenty five dollars from three fifteen, three ninety, four twenty, and four forty. That's hefty over there. And the uh park uh parking went up five dollars from twenty five to thirty dollars. Universal uh Universal's standard parking prices was were higher at twenty eight dollars. Now Disney overtook them. Um, and I wonder, by the way, if Universal will increase their prices. Usually, they kind of do. They kind of follow suit, kind of thereafter. So, buy your Universal and Six Flags and NOS tickets, especially annual passes, soon because they might increase in price a little bit in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, as right now, uh, Disneyland has the highest parking uh, price in all the theme park land. Beating Universal by two dollars, increased from thirty to twenty-five dollars. Hotel self park increased. Uh, the hotel self increased big time, um, up fifteen dollars each. Uh, each thing's up fifteen dollars. Forty to twenty-five. That I mean, it's only fifteen dollars, but that just psychologically, that four is seems like a much bigger jump uh, than fifteen dollars when you're coming from a two like that. So forty dollars to self park uh, over the twenty-five dollars. Hotel self oversized vehicles are forty five to thirty. That even even though see this is uh, interesting how the mind works. This how mine mine worked. This seems like a much this twenty five to forty seems like a much bigger jump because it's starting from a lower number and going to forty and seems like like wow it's a massive jump. Where thirty to forty five doesn't seem so bad. Like it's a it's bad. It's fifteen dollars, but. It doesn't seem as bad as 25 to 40, even though it's the same price. Because going from a 2 to a 4 like that, it's almost like a $20 increase. I don't know. It just seems more massive. What do you guys think? Do you guys see that? Do you guys think like that as well? Does this 25 to $40 increase seem more massive than 30 to 45, even though it's the same $15 increase? If so, it's just crazy, how, how again, how the mind works. And that's so psychological patterns of how that's how... The pricing is like how gas is three ninety nine, so for just four dollars because psychologically it looks much cheaper and looks more attractive when something's three ninety nine versus four dollars when those you know instead of rounding up. Hotel Valley went from thirty five to fifty again. Maybe it's just the five to the tens because this seems like a big jump as well, even though it's only fifteen dollars. But this still seems like the biggest jump, even though that's all fifteen dollars. And so those are the new prices for today, for the next year. And again, usually, again, it's usually February they uh, go ahead and increase the prices. But of course, they re they were closed last February, uh, February of uh, 2020. We opened with the the 2019 prices. Things are starting to get more no more normal in terms of crowd levels. So now. They said, let's go up the price. Now, what's very curious is that this February, this coming February 2022, they try to get back on track and increase the prices again, but have like more, like a smaller increase than, than they just had. It, this thing isn't too bad. It's definitely not the worst. The 2019 one was a pretty, pretty, especially on annual passes, a pretty massive jump. That'd be very curious. In 2022, on February, when they kind of figure out the dream, dream, key, dream key, by the way, is sold out. We can't buy it, and that's good because it's. Uh, I mean, you couldn't. I mean, there, you can't get a reservation on the weekend for the Gym Key until next year, and you can't really get any reservations for the Gym Key just a handful until really next year. So I'm glad they stopped selling that until they can figure out the reservation system and figure out how they want to do all that. But I wonder if we'll see annual pass or Dream Key or Magic Key. Uh, price bumps in February 2022 instead of the ticket price bumps because obviously those just came out so those prices didn't change but the ticket prices changed 
some wonder if February 2022 will still see a price increase, but just on annual or dream key or magic keys. Um, and then February 2023, before making money, making many some runaway railway opens. I wonder if we'll see uh, again a, another kind of major increase, but with everything in February 2023. But what do you guys think about the transfer turning next year? That's exciting. It's still a long time, but exciting, especially today. Again, it's very cold outside. It makes the walk even in rainy even more painful if you do the walk. But what do you guys think about the price increases? I for one, let me let me show my opinion because I know a lot of people are upset. Some people are, are upset. And the people that are upset. I totally get it. I still don't like the reservation system. I, I don't mind a crowded park, and a lot of people do. And so I hope the people that are like don't uh, the people that mind a crowded park hopefully don't mind the reservation system. I get why it has to happen. And I get why the green key is paused. And I'm I'm not mad at the price increases and it's all about supply and demand. Um you learn to live with them and just kind of budget around them. You do what's best for you. If you if multi-day tickets work better. For you with a magic key pass or just a single day ticket um once a year it works better for you then you do that um but again no one's forcing you to go to disneyland the the prices uh well i will continue to rise at all theme parks especially as inflation goes up it's just the way it goes in supply and demand disneyland is in very high demand so uh, again the price will continue to rise but what do you guys think about these new price and in the new ticket increases it's not as much uh, as it, it, it again was in years past, so I feel like it's not too shabby. And uh, what I just think about the dream key selling out does that make you upset or make you very happy and hopeful that maybe it won't be even more competitive to get uh, dream key reservations? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button, subscribe for more theme park updates, and as always, have a fantastic day.